everybody, here we are, Vlog 137. It's me, Jaime, the shut-in cartoonist and musician, vlogcasting, of course, from the Corn Tortilla Press World Headquarters, located in the East Bay of the San Francisco Bay Area. Um, this morning, about 9.30 or so, we were in Berkeley, California. We I talked about this book on here before. I think his name's Charles Fleming. He's done two books. He's done one, Secret Stairs of the East Bay and Secret Stairs of Los Angeles. And today, of course, we have the East Bay one, and we've been going on those every Sunday. Uh, we're picking the secret stair route, and today we went to Berkeley. We went to Holy Hill. Holy is in holy moly, holy beans, whatever. And um, parked down on Euclid and started walking up the hill until we found stairs and went all the way up. And uh, it's about two and a half mile round trip, I think. Um, this was one of the easier routes. I mean, there were stairs on it, like 400 and some total steps, but there were none of the real, you know, like the second one we went on was uh, was also in Berkeley. No, it was in Piedmont, had a lot longer ones. But anyway, this, uh, as I said before, they cover mostly uh, Berkeley and Oakland. Uh, next week, we're gonna do an Oakland, Oakland climb. But it's really nice, early Sunday morning. Um, it's a beautiful day out. Uh, you know, when you're out there earlier, we'd like to get out even earlier, probably that next time. Um, you know, you don't see many people. It's quiet. It's uh, parking's free. That's that's the other good thing. And um, yeah, it's really, really a good time. And uh, I highly recommend it. And the book is by Charles Fleming, uh, Secret Stairs of the East Bay. I know there's secret staircases. They call it in San Francisco, too. I mean, I've been on a handful of them over the years, but uh, that wouldn't be a bad one to do either. So that's about it. That's what we did today. Um, it's Sunday, so I'm going to kind of take it easy. Uh, i got to make a couple phone calls to some really old good friends. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to do it right after this. Other than that, if you have to go out, do what we did. We wore the mask. You don't have to go on stairs. But if you want to, you can. And uh, yeah, we wore a mask. We kept our hands uh, washed and sanitized. We kept a good distance from when we did see people, and they did the same. And of course, we were kind to everyone, and I... We were kind to ourselves. They were kind to us. Kind works. <laughs> All right, everybody. Uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe below. Oh, and I had two questions sent to me. Uh, one by uh, email and one by uh, uh, text. Black shirts. It seems like somebody says, one person says, you always wear black shirts. Another one says, it seems like you only have a couple of shirts and they're always black. Partially true. I got a bunch of t-shirts. I got way too many. But I'd say two-thirds of them are black. They either have something on them. This one has Jim Thorpe, or they're just blank. I have long sleeve, short sleeve, just have black shirts. I wear them. Black t-shirts. I just like them. I don't know. It's, uh, I have other colors, too. You see me wear the purple one with Felix on it. I have beige, white, gray. I have a lot of gray shirts. Anyway, but there, that answers the question. I have a ton of black t-shirts. Okay, there it is. And again, wear the mask. Wash the hands. Keep away from people. Stay kind. Be sure to subscribe, and of course, thank you for joining me. I was happy to join you. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.